Zuffa, LLC is an American sports promotion company specializing in mixed martial arts. It was founded in January 2001 in Las Vegas, Nevada, by Station Casino's executives Frank Ferdt III and Lorenzo Ferdt to be the parent entity of the Ultimate Fighting Championship after they purchased it from the Semaphore Entertainment Group. Lorenzo Ferdt is the Campania Euro unregistered trademark SCEO and chairman while Donna White runs the day-to-day -day operations. Zuffa is co-owned by Ferdt Brothers, Dana White and Flash Entertainment. The word Zuffa is an Italian word, meaning fight. Relationship with MMA organizations. Equals International Fight League equals, throughout the existence of the International Fight League between 2006 to 2008. Both Zuffa and the IFL had competed in a hostile relationship. Zuffa accused the IFL of and sued them for illegally using proprietary information obtained by hiring executives from the UFC organization. The IFL responded with their own suit claiming that Zuffa was threatening potential partners not to work with the IFL, including Fox Sports Net. The tension between the IFL and the UFC worsened with accusations that the IFL had attempted to buy out several top UFC fighters. In July 2008, there were reports of the IFL's possible purchase by the UFC. That same month, Joe Favreto, former IFL senior vice president, cited financial troubles for the closing of the company on July 31, 2008. Anonymous sources stated that Zuffa had bought the IFL. Other reports cited the UFC's airing of IFL footage on its programming, and the signing of previous IFL fighters, as an indirect confirmation of the purchase. Equals WFA equals, on December 11, 2006, Zuffa acquired the assets of the World Fighting Alliance, and formed WFA Enterprises, LLC as a subsidiary to handle these assets, including select fighter contracts. On the same day, it was reported that Zuffa was formalizing plans to buy World Extreme Kaduiting, to be run as a separate promotion from the UFC. Equals WEC equals, following the purchase of the WEC, Zuffa made several changes to the promotion. This included modifying the WEC's cage, transferring to a focus on lighter weight classes, giving it the ability to host events in Las Vegas and having the championships of fighters who were contracted UFC fighters vacated. From 2007 to the end of 2010, the WEC was run as a separate promotion under the Zuffa banner, airing events 28 to 53 on Versus in the US and on The Score in Canada. On October 28, 2010, Dana White announced that the WEC would be absorbed into the UFC in early 2011 equals Pride Fighting Championships equals. On March 27, 2007, it was announced that Frank Furt to three and Lorenzo Furt to were acquiring the assets of Pride Fighting Championships, the UFC's largest rival, from Dream Stage Entertainment. To handle the takeover, the Furt to brothers created a new corporate entity to handle the assets, Pride FC Worldwide Holdings LLC. With common ownership in place, Zuffa and Pride Worldwide would be working closely together. Although goals of reviving Pride were not realized, many of Pride's assets, including contracts with fighters and intellectual property, are now regularly utilized by the UFC. Equals Striker Force equals Early relationship, starting around 2008, UFC President Dana White began a long media battle with their main competitor Striker Force and their main media partner, Showtime. Dana White had expressed that he had no beef with Striker Force, instead indicating a greater dislike for Showtime, and Ken Hirschman in particular. However, White did express in an interview that he had a mutual relationship with Striker Force founder and CEO, Scott Coker, explaining that Coker was caught up in his battle with Showtime. 2011 Acquisition and Beyond On March 1, 2011, Scott Coker was noted for dismissing rumors of a pending sale to Zuffa as crazy. Coker went on to explain that Striker Force was searching for strategic partners, and that there were at least two potential investors, but that the UFC is not one of them. One of the potential investors has been documented to have been pro-elite. However, on March 12, 2011, it was announced in an interview with Dana White by journalist Ariel Hilwani that Zuffa had purchased Striker Force. 
The deal was made between Zuffa and partial striker force owner Silicon Valley Sports and Entertainment. The amount of money involved has not been officially disclosed, however it has been reported that the deal was worth $40 million. Sources have confirmed that Scott Coker attempted to not sell striker force to Zuffa. However, Coker ultimately failed and agreed to sell Striker Force's licensing rights, fighter contracts, and video library to Zuffa on March 10 or 11. On March 14, 2011, Zuffa held a conference call to officially announce the acquisition of Striker Force. On March 28, 2011, Scott Coker stated that he felt that the acquisition would be good for the sport of mixed martial arts. This was in contradiction of his original resistance of selling Striker Force to Zuffa. Ultimately, Striker Force was operated as a separate company, similar to that of the WEC, until January 12, 2013, when the final Striker Force show was held in Oklahoma City. After which, the promotion was dissolved and all fighter contracts were either ended or absorbed into the UFC. Equals United Glory equals. When United Glory was originally formed in 2006, it was known as Ultimate Glory before a lawsuit with Zuffa forced a name change. Equals Invicta Fighting Championships equals, In June 2014 the UFC announced that they had signed a multi-year, multi-event broadcast deal to show and archive all Invicta FC events on UFC Fight Pass. This has allowed the UFC to further expand its women's divisions by adding a strawweight division in July 2014, and signing Invicta fighters such as Carla Espatza and Felice Herrig. Equals Shooto equals, in June 2014 the UFC announced that they had signed a development deal with a recently revived, Vail Tudo Japan. A brand that was brought back in 2012 by the long-running, Shuto promotion. The UFC plans on promoting and operating a new tournament series that will focus on 135 and 145 pound divisions. There were plans of a The Ultimate Fighter like TV show to help promote these tournaments, but it is unclear on what the status remains on it. Relationship with non MMA organizations. Equals Flash Entertainment equals, on January 12, 2010, Zuffa sold a minority interest in the company to Flash Entertainment. The company announced the completion of a deal in which a 10% interest in the company to the Abu Dhabi government-owned Flash Entertainment. With the sale, company ownership would be 40.5% held by Lorenzo Fertitta, the Campania Euro unregistered trademark SCEO and chairman, 40.5% held by his older brother, Frank Fertitta III, 10% by Flash Entertainment and 9% by Dana White. Flash Entertainment was formed in 2008 by the Abu Dhabi Governmental Euro Unregistered Trademark S Executive Affairs Authority. Equals Ubisoft equals, in December 2010, Zuffa filed a lawsuit against video game publisher Ubisoft, for what they claimed was a violation of trademark on the game, Fighters Uncaged, packaging. On the packaging of the game the trademark term, Ultimate Fighting is shown in all capital letters. Zuffa claimed that the use of the term is identical or confusingly similar to the use of the UFC's trademarks. While Ubisoft failed to provide any comments on the lawsuit, by August 2011, the two companies announced the dissolution of the lawsuit. Equals Lone Survivor Foundation equals, in May 2011, it was announced that Zuffa would be holding a charity auction featuring more than 100 items to benefit the Lone Survivor Foundation during the last week of May 2011. All products were autographed by UFC fighters and included, baseball caps, t-shirts, MMA gloves, and DVDs. Products generally ranged in price from $50 to a few thousand dollars. Equals Cleveland Clinic Brain Trauma Study equals, in February 2014, Zuffa was one of a number of major combat sport promotions to support a major brain trauma study that was being conducted by the Cleveland Clinic. MMA regulations, the current rules used in the UFC were first established by the New Jersey Athletic Control Board in 2000, in consultation with the UFC and other MMA promotions in the United States. The first UFC event under the new rules was UFC 28, held before Zuffa's takeover. New Jersey's unified rules of mixed martial arts has since been established throughout the country by other state athletic commissions, including Nevada and California. 
The UFC has however kept close ties with state commissions, especially the Nevada State Athletic Commission, of which Lorenzo Furtado was a former board member. Drug policy efforts, while during the early years of the sport of mixed martial arts, when Pride Fighting Championships along with the Ultimate Fighting Championship were early premierships of the sport. It has been documented that there was a noteworthy lack of rules and regulations regarding drug testing for PEDs. This led to a widespread debate and discussion regarding how prevalent the use of steroids were in the sport. As well as to a long list of competitors in the UFC and other major organizations facing failed drug tests. This was further highlighted by continued problems with UFC champions including John Jones and Anderson Silva. So in February 2015, Zuffer announced a more aggressive year-round, random testing approach for its competitors to begin in July 2015. Anti-piracy efforts, Zuffer had been one of the largest and most aggressive spenders among anti-piracy political lobbyists in the United States since the end of the 2000s. One thing in particular that sets them apart from other sports leagues is that, in addition to supporting efforts of stricter piracy laws, they have also on numerous occasions gone after selected individuals in addition to pirate hosting websites. Some of the most notable cases have included, a well-publicized lawsuit with Justin TV in 2011 and a $32 million settlement involving a New York man in 2014. Zuffa has always maintained the stance that the large amounts of illegal streams of their events causes massive financial losses. In response to having such a stringent stance it has been extremely controversial and has caused a number of debates within the mixed martial arts community on its effectiveness. As a result, the UFC began experimenting on an online subscription model known as UFC Fight Pass in 2014. It is unclear how beneficial the service has been since its emphasis has been largely minimal next to UFC's partnership with Fox and noticeable decline in average PPV bureau rates, highlighted by the S&P downgrading Zuffer's credit rating in late 2014. Insurance Policy On May 9, 2011 it was announced that Zuffer would be providing year-round customized insurance coverage for any injury suffered by a UFC or Striker Force athlete. The policy covers any injuries that occurred during competition, training, and non-training related accidents. The policy was underwritten by Houston-based speciality insurance group HCC Insurance Holdings and went into effect on June 1, 2011. The details of the policy include, coverage for all athletes signed by the UFC or Striker Force. Coverage for athletes residing both within and outside of the United States. Suffer paying for all premiums for the policy, with athletes not required to pay anything. Allowing athletes to use up to $50,000 in annual coverage for any injuries that occur while under contract to Zuffer. This includes services such as, doctor services, laboratory tests, emergency medical evacuation, and physical therapy. Coverage for athletes regardless of if they are scheduled to compete life and dental insurance at no cost to the athletes. No coverage for minor illnesses, but training-related illnesses like staff infections are covered. An insurance policy is not a first for mixed martial arts or combat sports as a whole. Former promotions such as the International Fight League, offered insurance to its athletes. However Zuffer's policy is the first to cover a large group of combat sport athletes. According UFC President Dana White, the policy was a goal of the company since Zuffa first purchased the UFC in 2001. In addition UFC Chairman and CEO, Lorenzo Furtado stated that the policy took three years to establish while trying to find possible insurers. Prior to the introduction of this policy, Zuffa provided up to $100,000 for an athlete on each event to cover injuries sustained during competition. However, if an athlete was injured outside of competition they would have to pay for their own medical expenses. Notable incidents where UFC athletes were injured outside of competition include, Frank Mir, who was struck by a car while riding his motorcycle in 2004, and forced out of competition for over 20 months. Brock Lesnar, who was forced out of action for several months while struggling with diverticulitis. Monopoly Accusations the Ultimate Fighting Championship has been accused of monopolistic business practices both in casual criticism and in formal lawsuits for a number of years. 
there are numerous fighters who have accused the company of various wrongdoings regarding issues including, unequal pay, predatory actions towards rival promotions, lack of a pension or union safety net, and other perceived unethical business practices. These perceptions have been most highlighted by a Federal Trade Commission investigation that took place between 2011 and 2012. As well as in a series of class action lawsuits filed against the company in late 2014 and early 2015. Equals Federal Trade Commission investigation equals, in the months following the March 2011 acquisition of rival promotion, Stryker Force by Zuffer, rumors began to circulate that a possible investigation by the FTC would take place. These rumors later came to be true when it was officially announced around the end of January 2012 that the FTC had in fact conducted an investigation, and found no wrongdoings regarding the UFC being a monopoly. Equals class action lawsuits equals, 2014, on December 16, 2014 a class action lawsuit was filed against Zuffer by fighters Kung La, John Fitch and Nate Quarry. Within a few days, Javier Bazes and Dennis Holman filed a second class action. And on December 24, Brandon Vera and Pablo Gatta filed a third lawsuit. Shortly after the initial news spreading, Zuffer quickly responded following the first class action with the statement that, the UFC will vigorously defend itself and its business practices. This soon led other promoters such as Scott Coker, president of Bellator MMA, expressing an interest in the outcome of the lawsuit while rejecting his organization as being labeled a minor league as it was done several times in the initial filing. By the end of December 2014 the UFC made a formal statement stating, We are proud of the company we have built, confident in our legal position, and intend to prevail in this lawsuit. 2015 on February 7, 2015 a fourth lawsuit was filed against the UFC this one by Mac Danzig and Gabby Ruedger. It was around this time Zuffer motioned to move the hearing date from May 7 to March 26, as well as move the venue from Northern California to Las Vegas, where they are headquartered. A few weeks later Zuffer motioned to have the lawsuits dismissed, in four separate documents they claim. The complaint's vague and conclusory allegations fall far short of the Supreme Court's requirements in Bell Atlantic Corporation v. Twombly, for pleading specific facts showing a plausible antitrust claim. Shortly thereafter a fifth lawsuit was added by Kyle Kingsbury and Darren Unayama on March 20, 2015. On April 12, the plaintiff athletes filed an opposition to February's motion to dismiss in transfer. Following the May 7 hearing regarding the motion to change venue a Californian federal judge granted Zuffer the motion to change venue to Las Vegas after citing contract agreements from the former employees. In the latest update, following the change of venue to Nevada Zuffer was denied its motion to remain a discovery for 15 years of its financial records. References <laughs>